welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'm finally going to be showing you guys my entire reptile room and all of the updates that I've made because there are a lot of changes. So I hope that you guys enjoy the video and I'm just going to jump right into it. And also here is little Bowie or big Bowie as I should say. So this is my living room and this is Lulu who is basking on her little basking area. So that has UVB and heat in it. Um, there is like a little square as you can see where there is an egg crate and it's because there's like a glass sheet that's kind of like made on the tank there. So that's just how it is. And she's probably thinking about jumping in the water right now, which is why she's so close to it. Uh, but she has a 75 gallon tank. Gotta move her little feeding dish from earlier. So yeah, this is 75 gallon. She has a water heater and a filter. Um, I kind of cleared a lot of stuff out of it. So I'm thinking I want to get some like sticks or just different things for her to like swim around in, climb on, just like things to hide in for her enclosure because it's just like a white wall behind it, which is kind of lame. So yeah, that's something that I will want to do eventually. And here's Lulu. She's super cute. She's probably like, don't come any closer. I'm going to jump in. Um, so yeah, that is Lulu's enclosure and little Lou. Next up are all the enclosures in my bedroom. So we're going to start at the very bottom over here. So this enclosure belongs to Mango, my African fat tail gecko who is peeking out. Do you want to come out? We have like some movement. She thinks that there's food. I'm just moving my fingers around. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's Mango. She's my African fat tail gecko. She is the cutest, sweetest gecko in the whole world. I'll just take her out for you guys so you can see her. Um, yeah, and this is her enclosure. So this enclosure is a um, 24 by 18 by 12 enclosure. And this is little Mango. Um, kind of an awkward position to be in right now, but okay. Um, but yeah, that's little Mango. She's the cutest gecko on the entire planet. Don't tell my other geckos, but like, look at that face. Just so cute. So easy to take care of. Best personality. Like just 10 out of 10 African fat tail geckos. So then moving right next door is the same exact size enclosure. It's just different and it belongs to my tiger salamander. And as you can see, it's looking pretty empty right now. Um, Ponyo used to have a plant in the corner, a plant in the center, and a plant over here, and he uprooted and killed all of them. So good going, mister. And also his water bowl is disgusting, so I'm just going to go ahead and change that out now too, because like this is what you deal with with tiger salamanders. So my plan for this little guy is to get him some more um, plants again. This is the only live plant that he has right now. I'm thinking about potentially upgrading him, but like last time he had space, he didn't utilize it at all. So I just don't know. I just don't really like this enclosure. He doesn't really utilize this thing. So I might get rid of it and just kind of redo everything. Cause right now I'm just hating it. Cause he killed all the plants and it's totally empty. It's all your fault, Ponyo. It's all your fault. You did this. Don't look cute. You did this. So here is Metamora up and close. Um, she completely messed up her enclosure, so I have to take her out so I can fix all of it. She basically uprooted a ton of plants, knocked over her little area, this little perch, like the whole thing came out. So, working on fixing that, but look at all that blue coming in on her face. She's absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, just a gorgeous, gorgeous snake, but she just ruins her enclosure, so I have to go and fix it, and then I'll show you guys the enclosure. All right, so here she is back in her enclosure. Um, she just had a wild night last night. So she basically ripped one of these white things out, which made her entire pole fall down. So I had to get another piece of double-sided tape and put it up. She knocked this whole plant over that's getting huge. And then she always uproots the snake plant in the back like every night and she knocked this thing over. So her enclosure was a disaster this morning, but it's all fixed and ready. And I just gave her some fresh water. So she is set to go. But yeah, that is Metamora. This is a two by two by two PVC Zen Habitats enclosure. And it works fantastic for her. So then next to Metamora is this 18 by 18 by 24 um, Zoomed enclosure. And this belongs to Oakley, my crested gecko who is sleeping 
right under the plants right here. Hey, sweetie pie. Oh, let's see if we can get her out. There we go. Please don't poop on me today. She's the one that loves to poop on me. But here's her chunky little frog butt. She is so cute and she's doing great. Um, I'm kind of thinking about putting her in a two by two by two Zen Habitat enclosure similar to um, these two over here, but I just don't have space right now. So most likely when I move, she will be getting one of those upgrades along with those two geckos because all of the crusties need the cube too. So that way they can have more space, but her enclosure does work for now. Um, she likes to climb into this little cork tube. She sleeps here every single day. That's her little feeding station. And yeah, she's just doing fantastic. Kind of just want to give her more space though, because the cube is just so much more space. And then last up up here is my leopard gecko enclosure. It belongs to Kiwi. Um, it's kind of hard to see because of the glare everywhere. Kiwi is hiding in the little cave on the side. There's Kiwi tucked in. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to take Kiwi out for today's video because there's no way I can get through. He's literally on the other side of that. Uh, but yeah, Kiwi's doing great. I kind of want to upgrade him to a Zen habitat too. So I think he might be the next one going into a Zen. This is very spacious for him, but I kind of just want to put everyone in Zen habitat. So <laughs> he's probably gonna be the next one getting an upgrade. So as you can see, the reptile room is just at full capacity with tons and tons and tons of Zen habitats and I just could not be happier. So it is definitely time to show you guys all of the upgrades. This is going to be my next work in progress because it doesn't match and I just like how everything else is Zen habitats. So we're going to start all the way over here right when you walk into the room keep my pothos that has grown all around the whole entryway. I absolutely love it. It's so cool. Um, so the very first enclosure over here is for my baby panther chameleon, Willie, that you guys recently just met. So this is his two by two by four Zen Habitats enclosure. So tiny little Willie is right here. Um, he is just so, so teeny tiny in this enclosure. It's really hard to find him a lot of the time. Um, but he always sleeps on this leaf right here, which is adorable. He tucks in and it's just the cutest thing ever. He does have a lot of blue coming in right now, although it is kind of hard to tell from where he's at. He just looks very white, but he's very cute. He's not hand feeding yet. I'm still working on that with him so far. He's just eating on his own from his little bowl. I just ordered him some tiny little crickets. So, so far he's just been having some black soldier fly larva and dubia roaches that are very, very small. So I did try and give him a little bit of silkworms. I think he ate one of the smaller ones, but that was it. But yeah, he's doing fantastic and I can't wait for him to grow. And then right next door is another two by two by four that belongs to Baloo, my other panther chameleon who is an ambilobi. So I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys a close up of him because he is absolutely stunning. So here is Baloo. He's doing the little leaf walk right now. Um, he is like so chill, but he's so funny. If I give him my hand, uh, normally he looks at it like it's food, but he's not doing that right now. Right now he's like, why is there a camera in my face? But his colors have just come in so well. I mean, look at how gorgeous this chameleon is. He has such a great personality too. So I absolutely just adore him. He is so cool. We love you, Baloo. So then moving on down from the chameleons is this four by two by two PVC enclosure that is for Peaches, my red footed tortoise. I just gave her a little spray down because she was looking a little dry, but she is so cute. She still just loves her food. She's growing so much. So just for some like reference, it's kind of hard to tell, but like she is just so big, but I love her. She is so cool. She's my little dinosaur. Um, yeah, so that is Peaches. She has her little warm hide over here. She's typically in there all day long. And then she has another hide over there that she doesn't typically use too much. And then she has her little water dish that she soaks in, but she is just so cute. I love taking her out when it's nice in the sun. So yeah, that is my beautiful little Peaches. And then the final enclosure down here is a four by two by 16 PVC enclosure. 
It has a water area with a running filter, and this is for Janemba, my pixie frog, who literally is right there. It's so hard to see because he's just like blended in. <laughs> That's his face. I'm gonna try and get him out so I can show you guys him. He is so big. Like, look at that. He just came out of nowhere. Um, yeah, picking him up is, he's a lot of frog, but he's beautiful. We love him. Look at that beautiful yellow. Um, yeah, he just chills all day and buries himself, but he's very cute. And that is Janemba and his setup. And then moving on over, we have my newest enclosures, which are these cubes. So at the very bottom, it's just a two by two by two cabinet that I use for like feeders and random stuff. Um, so yeah. It's very spacious. I could put a lot of stuff in there, which is really nice because I needed more storage. And then moving on up, this is Sunny's enclosure, my gargoyle gecko. So her enclosure is looking fantastic. Um, she always sleeps in here, which she actually is right now. I don't know if we can really see her because she like really, really blends in. Um, yeah, that's her. It's like not even focusing. She just blends in with the cork bark. Um, but yeah, that's her favorite spot to be. This is her enclosure. I'll send you guys some pictures that we can see her in her setup because she only comes out at nighttime. Sunny was actually out today, so here's Sunny. Um, she's normally in her little cave, which is over here, but I'm going to show you a picture of how I found her today because it was hilarious. <laughs> So yeah, here is beautiful little Sunny. Um, and then it's pretty much the same exact thing for um, Citrus, who is on the top. This enclosure is doing fantastic. The fern is a little sad in the back. Gonna need to work on that, but everything else is doing really, really great. Um, and Citrus also likes to go in this hide, but honestly, I'm not even really sure where Citrus is right now. So then moving on over to this side with my beautiful pothos who's Rapunzel and just going all the way down. Um, so at the very bottom, we have the deluxe stacking spacer, which is the best thing in the whole world because I get to fit so much junk and reptile stuff in here. And then it just looks so nice and it stacks perfectly with the Zen habitats. So it just works out fantastic. So we're going to start on this side because I know she's not on this side. Um, this is a 4x2x2 by two by two PVC enclosure. That is her warm hide. She has a heat pad underneath with thermostat. She has some live plants. Um, this plant fell out. It's supposed to be over there. Um, yeah, it's been having a rough time. This plant is still alive. That one's still going strong. So I'm happy about that because I didn't think I would be able to have live plants with her because honestly, she just tramples things and she's very big now. So I'm probably gonna like run out of breath showing you guys her. Um, so yeah, she right now is in her cool hide as usual. Oh my goodness, yeah, her body goes all the way over here and it's tucked all the way in there. So I'm probably gonna like run out of breath holding her. She is so big, you guys, so big. And it's so hard to tell in photos and stuff, but like my arm is shaking right now and she's so adventurous, but she is just absolutely stunning. You guys already know that. Um, if I could get her in a little sun patch, I can show a little bit of that iridescence. Um, but yeah, she is just amazing as usual. You guys all love Bowie. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put her in that way you guys can kind of see a little bit of iridescence, but she's just gonna go tuck in um she really fills out this enclosure but she still seems kind of small in here which i was kind of surprised but um i still want to give her an eight by two by two one day when i have more space i can use an extension kit and connect another four by two by two zen habitats into this one so that is my plan um but yeah she is an absolute beauty she's always been so calm she's just such a good snake and she's beautiful, like look at that. Can't ever get bored with Bowie. She's just so stunning. Such a great snake. So yeah, that is Bowie and that is Bowie's beautiful enclosure that she is loving. And then moving on up is a four by two by 16 inch PVC enclosure that belongs to Chaos, my coral glow ball python. 
So this is her warm hide. Um, she has this, like, it's really cool. There's this giant piece of cork bark, but it's like rounded and it works as a hide too. So chaos is under there. So I'll go ahead and take him out so you can see him. But first I'm just gonna show the rest of the enclosure. So this is the cool hide. Um, there's a little branch that chaos likes to climb on. I like to keep this across here, but of course chaos messes it up. Um, and then water bowl. And then as you can see, there is chaos right there popping out a little bit. So we're just gonna move this hide. There we go. Look at how beautiful he is. Hey, pretty boy. All right. So here is chaos. He's growing like crazy. He's actually gonna be three coming pretty soon. Look at his pretty face. He's still very calm and just absolutely stunning. I love him. You guys already know that. I'm gonna say that about every single one of my animals because what else is there to say besides how much you love them? So yeah, there is little chaos. Go ahead and put him back. I know, I'll put your little hide back, I'm sorry. I always have to wake you guys up for this. And then moving on up to the last enclosure over here is another four by two by two, no, four by two by 16 inch enclosure. This belongs to Casper, my blue-eyed leucistic ball python. Um, I actually just bought him a larger water bowl that I'm going to replace. I know that he's never on this side, which is the warm side. So I'm gonna go ahead and just look for him over here. He still has his very like Halloween decorated setup. Um, I just love it. It's a year round thing because he's Casper the friendly ghost. So I had to. And there he is, if it would focus on him. There he is. So we'll go ahead and take him out for you guys. You guys, he eats so much. Like he would eat every single day if he could. He tries to, like he looks at me every single night like it's feeding night. It's crazy. Like he, I feel like he's gonna end up getting really, really big because he's such a good eater. But I mean, I have issues with chaos because he still eats live. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm so happy that he's such a good eater. And he is just stunning. Look at those blue eyes. I just am so happy with him. I would love to get another ball python. I just don't have the room. But like these two have just made my life. Like, I just love them. And that perfect little face. You're so perfect. So yeah, that is Casper the Friendly Ghost. And his enclosure. He has like multiple hides, by the way. So he was under one of the cool hides. He has another cool hide. There's another cool hide. Then he has two warm hides. Like he has a lot of hides just because I put him in here when he was so tiny and I wanted to make sure he felt safe. So he definitely feels safe. He's out and about all the time. I just love him. So yeah, that is Casper and Casper's beautiful enclosure. And down here amongst all of the rainbows is Dude who is waiting for some food. We're gonna get him some food soon. I just cleaned the bottom of the mat and there's just always calcium sand everywhere. Right, dude? Cause you're kind of a messy guy, even though I give you a bowl and you make a mess. So this is a four by two by two wood enclosure from Zen Habitats. It's a little bit covered because I have plants everywhere, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, dude is doing fantastic. He absolutely loves his cave from Zen Habitats. He sleeps in there every night and then he just comes out and is ready for the day. Um, he has a lot of different things to climb on in his enclosure. He typically kind of just sticks in like one spot. He'll bask on here, he'll sleep in there. Sometimes he'll go in the flowers. That's why they're kind of moved over because he climbs and like stampedes them. But yeah, that is beautiful little dude and his enclosure. He is so cute. He just turned nine. So you're becoming an old man, but you have the cutest old man face ever. And then moving on up, this enclosure is a four by two by 16 inch enclosure. It is for Bloom, my corn snake. He's kind of knocked some of the plants off of his snake background that I made with foam, but that's okay. This is his warm hide, which he's never in. He's always on the other side of the enclosure because he absolutely just loves this hide right here. And I think I just saw his face peeping out a little bit. Um, yeah, he's always in here. Are you gonna plop out? 
So this is Bloom. He does not want to come out of his little hide right now. You're so cute. We just want to see you. He's gotten so big. He's grown so much. Um, but yeah, he's being shy and doesn't want to come out apparently. But he's stunning. This is him. Hi, cutie. What are you thinking? Do you want to come out? No? He's like, why did you just wake me? Look at that face. He's so cute. So yeah, that's Bloom, my little plasma corn snake. And this is his enclosure. And he is always just in this little hide. He just loves it. So then moving on up is the last enclosure up here. This is another four by two by 16 PVC enclosure. And this is for Chanto, my Indonesian blue tongue skink, who is right up front. He is a little chunk. He's so cute. He wants some food. He always wants food. Um, we'll see if he'll let me pet him. Yeah, good boy. He's like, I, I don't know about that. So yeah, that's typical Chancho. Um, some of his background, like the little flowers have fallen out and stuff. So I think I'm going to put some new ones in. He has a water bowl over there. He has a little hide that he loves. He sleeps in there. He has some cork bark all throughout the enclosure. It kind of blends in with the moss. Um, but he just burrows every single night and goes in all of his moss. I need to freshen it up and give him some fresh moss and substrate soon. So that's going to be a task coming up very soon for this little guy. But he's so cute. I love him. We're going to get him some snacks too. And the last part of this tour are the enclosures right up here. So these belong to Bamboo and Chip, my other crested geckos. And this is Bamboo, my Dalmatian crested gecko with a tail. So this is Chip's son. Um, he was the only baby that I decided to keep for myself when I was breeding and he has his mom's eyes. Elfie was his mom and she passed away unfortunately. It was really unexpected. I'd only had her for like a year and she had some babies and then she just died. I have no idea why. It was really sad but I'm really glad that this baby had her really really pretty rose gold eyes. So yeah, this is Bamboo. He has grown so much, but he is absolutely stunning. So yeah, that's Bamboo, and this is Bamboo's enclosure. It is a 30 gallon tipped on its side, and it has a naturalistic background on the back. Um, I hate this enclosure, especially because the plants always fall. I need to get command hooks. Um, but I just, I don't like this size ever since I upgraded the other, um, geckos to the two by two by two. That's what I want to do for this one as well. So eventually this one will be moved up into the Zen Habitats PVC enclosure. But for now, this is the enclosure. It works just fine. I just think that it's better to give them more horizontal climbing space. Um, and width. So as you can see, like there's not much width in here. So definitely want to upgrade this. And for the big finale is this other 30 gallon enclosure that belongs to Chip. And I cannot find Chip anywhere. I'm assuming that he is in this cork bark tube and there's no way I'll be able to get him out. So I'll just show you guys a cute picture of Chip. That way you can see him for this video because we are not going to get him out of this. But this is his enclosure. Again, I want to upgrade him to the Zen Habitat 2x2x2. Two by two by two. So eventually that will happen. But for now, this works just fine for him. And that concludes my reptile room tour. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing all of the animals and all of their enclosures. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them for me in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.